welcome guys to chapter 6 of learning aoc today we are going to talk about table of confirmation toc before learning this chapter chapter 6 you need to have a good understanding of chapter 4 3 2 so if you have not already watched the, those cha chapters please go and watch those chapters then only you can continue to this chapter first and foremost thing we need to remember that we use TOC only for the risky trades. We do not initiate a trade based on this, but we look at them whenever we feel our trade is going against us or it's a risky trade. That is why it is called table of confirmation. It is only a confirmation tool to reduce your risk exposure, not a trading tool. You are not supposed to take trade solely on the basis of TOC. Where do we find TOC? We'll find TOC in OI, OI change graph, PCR, BOI, cross OI, and LTP change, and so many more. One and simple rule. We need to remember that there are three lines. Mostly there are three lines, red, green, and blue. Lines can be increasing, decreasing, or consolidating. Increasing means it is forming higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Decreasing means it's forming higher, lower low, lower high, lower low and lower high, lower low. Consolidation means it's forming equal high, equal low. The graph would look like increasing, this is decreasing and this is consolidating. Once we have understanding of that, what we can do? We'll go to AOC and try to look at those graphs and decide what are the market conditions right now when we click on the strike price oi change any strike price oi change either call or put side will see a lot of oi related graphs what are those going to say they are going to confirm us trend for that particular strike price similarly when we click on the numbers at the header section this is going to show us overall market trend for that day for that day it is going to show us the trend now let's look at some of the strike price if I, if you click on the 25 300 strike price we see oi change oi change boi pcr oi and a lot of other things one simple rule there are green red and blue line we are only concerned with these lines. If you want to learn deeply about them, then you can join our course, paid course. For now, we'll try to keep it simple and short. If the graph is decreasing, if the blue line is decreasing, that means that particular strike price is bearish. If graph is consolidating, that means market is consolidating for that strike price. If graph is increasing, then it indicates bullish. Similarly, if we click on the OI chain and the header section, we get the similar graph. C, P, or red, green, and blue. If blue line is decreasing, what are the rules for blue line or green line? If it's increasing, market is bullish. If it's decreasing, bearish. For red, increasing means bearish, decreasing means bullish. This is the three simple rules we need to remember. Apart from that, we do not need any other rules. We just need to remember if a blue line is increasing, that means it's indicating bullishness. If it's decreasing, that is a bearishness. If you click on the strike price, you get market condition for that strike price. If you click on the header section, you'll get market condition for that particular day, overall market condition for particular day. Similarly, we have Greek stable. That also indicate the same thing. We have delta tables, PCR of OI change, OI and PCR. If it's decreasing, market is bearish. If it's increasing, market is bullish. Similarly, the blue line, if it's decreasing, market is bearish. If consolidating, market is neutral. If increasing, market is bullish. Well, we will keep this short in this video. In this chapter, we'll see you in the next chapter. Next chapter is going to be rules we have predefined rules for aoc that will grant you a success in the trading market there we will talk about placing order target sl trailing sl and maintaining your psychology maintaining your risk
थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन अगर इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट ऑन दिस वीडियो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर